Mr. Pastore, when were you going through a divorce? Um, uh, just separated right now. When did you separate from your wife? Six years ago. The same wife that you say I'm just separated now from? Yeah, well, six years ago we had problems and we just started separating just not too long ago. Mr. Pastore, this is not going to be easy. I know you think I see it. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. In April of this year, I want to know the address where you were living. Uh, Eileen Court. With whom? That's my old address, my old house. Does your wife live there? Yes. Is that where you were living in April? Oh, uh, no. Where were you living in April? Uh, parents' house. <laughs> where? In Lake Run, Conkoma. And you were living there because, listen, it's not going to be easy. You were living there because you and your wife separated and you moved out of Eileen Court? Yes. From Eileen Court, you moved in with your parents in Lake Ronkonkoma? Ronkonkoma, yes. What are your parents' names? Amy and James. Okay. And you were living there? Yes. Did they throw you out? No. Why were you living in your car? That was after... After the... Th this whole situation. No, it was before. I want to know where you were living on... May 24th of this year. Prior to moving into Diane's... Where were you living on May 24th? I'm looking at your complaint. You set the date. I want you to tell me where you were living on May 24th. May 24th, the day before I was living in my car. And May 23rd, where were you living? In my car. And May 22nd, where were you living? In my car. So, did your parents sell their house? No. Did your parents ask you to leave their house? Basically, yes, we had a... Uh, so you went from Eileen's house to your parents' house? Yes. And your parents threw you out, and then you went to live in your car? Yes. And how did you know the defendant? Through my friend, Rich. Through this person? Yes. How did you know this person? He's my nephew, my, my sister-in-law's son. How do you know him? Stand. How do you know him? You want me to stand here? Yes, how uh, do you... I know him. He's actually my business partner. What kind of business are you in with this business partner? Uh, just a landscaping business, Your Honor. Does Mr. Pastore have any problems that I don't know about? Not, not that I'm familiar with, Why Your would Honor. you think, if he's your business partner, why would you think his parents threw him out and told him to live in his car? They, they weren't getting along. They just had uh, family issues at home, um, just yeah, yeah. basic problems. Well, in the I don't household. Know, understand what basic problems mean. Maybe like slight arguments around the household about different things. And Sit. Yes, Your Honor. So through your nephew, that's how you met him? Well, we were in Walmart shopping, and I happened to run into my nephew, and that's how I met Mr. Pastor over there. And we were talking. In Walmart? Yes, we were in Walmart shopping, and I, I saw Richie, and um, he introduced me to Michael. We started talking, and I told him, he says, oh, is your basement still, because I guess he was still having problems with his parents. So he asked me if there's anybody in my basement. I says, no, but it needs painting. How did you know you oh, had a basement? He, he knows my house. He's, he's been in my house. He, he's been in your house he, with your nephew? My nephew, no, 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 my nephew's been in my house. He knows my oh, house. Oh, your nephew asked you. Is yes, if there's anybody in my basement or, or anything like that, because he knows my husband is, is deceased or whatever, and he asked me about, you know, that he, I guess his friend needed a place to stay. So your nephew asked you, is the basement still available? Yes. Mr. Pastore had never been in your basement. No, no, not okay, at that time. Okay, go ahead. So he came to me, and they, he you know I needed work. I said, no, I'm not really interested in renting my apartment now, but, but if he wants, come take a look, and maybe we can work something out. So he wanted to come to my house. He saw my house. They both I said, I need painting done. I need ceiling tiles done. And he wanted to come and rent my house at $600. I said, nobody rents my house at $600. Sorry, no, that's not happening.